This is a great event. This is, uh, obviously we have this every year to celebrate people who have been working here for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Actually this year we have a colleague who's been working with us for 50 years. And, uh, right. We have a very long program, a lot of people to honor. So I would like, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce President Diane Cole, Dr. Cole. Thank you very much and welcome. This is, I think, the 45th year that we have held a celebration of service on this campus, 45 years. And there are people who've been here from the very beginning so I appreciate all of you being here because it truly is one of the nicest events that celebrates every member of our campus community who has served our students, our faculty, our staff, our community. And they come from all the departments on the campus. And I'm so grateful that you could be here with us tonight. We have a number of uh, retirees are always invited back. And I've had the pleasure of catching up with a few of you uh, at Brumyak and Nathan Chow, yeah. Mona Fabricant is here. Jonas Fallick, Mel Gorelick. Ermgard Carl, very special person, hi. Sarah Lacido is here. Marilyn Roth, we know her as Mickey Roth. Norma. Norma, he, she and I work together, and so does Sarah and I, for that matter. Gloria Steinberg and Ella Wilson, and I'm sure there are a couple of other folks that may have wandered in. But this is, I think, special. I'm not sure anybody else in our university really takes the time to say thank you. We, I know as individuals have said thank you to people many times over many years. But for us at Queensboro, every member of our community is very special. And so I, again, I thank you uh, for joining and celebrating their accomplishments. And I'd like to introduce our 20-year honorees. It's kind of amazing, but it's true. The Registrar's Office serves every person on this campus. And, and I must say that this person who is being honored uh, survived CUNY first in the trenches, truly it was trenches. I think she's finally allowed to celebrate Thanksgiving and holidays, et cetera. But Amy Baljayan is from the registrar. Amy, come on up. Where's Amy? Is Amy here? Come on up, Amy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I, I just want to keep this short. I just want to thank my co-workers in the registrar's office, without whom I'd never have made 22 years. Their support means everything to me, and I thank you for being here. And the uh, offices of the administration and academic departments that help me do my job every semester, I appreciate them as well. I've been working since I'm 14 years old, a few years, and uh, every three years it seemed that I would get bored and want to move on. Uh, I haven't been bored one day since in the registrar's office. <laughs> and thank you very much. Now, in addition to the registrar, another group of people behind CUNY first, in front of it, underneath it on occasion to be sure, of course, is information technology, IT. And they keep us up and running. And there's someone there who has worked with us in so many ways. I think you probably don't realize it, but we would never know the placement test results of our students without Mark Berman from IT. Well, I 
came to Queensboro in December 1994, about six months later, uh, New York City found itself in the throes of a fiscal crisis. And within that time period, one day, I was called up to the Dean of Academic Affairs, who at that time was Dean Russell Hotzler. So needless to say, walking up there, I was quite nervous. So I walk into his office. I must have appeared very pale, because he said, Mark, please, you can breathe now. <laughs> he shook my hand firmly. I sat down, and he said, relax. I just want you to know that we've heard very good things about you, and we want you not to worry, that we want you to be here. We hope you'll be here for many years to come. Queensboro is a nice place to work. And after almost 21 years, I'd have to say that uh, Russell Hartzler, now President Hartzler, was very true. Uh, Queensboro is a beautiful place to work with uh, wonderful people, and I really feel grateful. And uh, in my IT department, everyone has always been wonderful to work with, and uh, my directors, George Sherman and Beth Gordon, you couldn't ask for two more decent and nice people to work with, so I thank you all. Thank you. Many years ago, uh, and I've been here many, many years, but someone said to me, if you only have one friend on the campus, you make sure it's your secretary. <laughs> because I don't think we could get through the day. And now, of course, we refer to them as administrative assistants, and they are, believe me, much more than that. Uh, these are a group of people who really do run this institution, morning, noon, and night. And Patty Gordon represents, really, uh, one of the finest colleagues we could ever hope to have. And Amy works in the English department, and she serves everyone, whether you're in the English department or not, Amy, uh, Patty is really terrific. So, Patty, come on up. <laughs> Gonna go over here. Thank you. Oh boy. President Call, Vice Presidents, Deans, Chair People, colleagues and friends. Um, what can I say that hasn't been said before? But I guess to start with, um, I did start as a student here. There. Um, in the business department, I was a student. And um, one of my teachers, Professor Helen Saputo, asked me to uh, would I like to work for her for this internship program? And um, I agreed, and I had eight wonderful years with the business department and the internship. Then um, I had uh, an opportunity. Dr. Marcia Keys hired me in faculty and staff, and I worked there for nearly about a year. Worked with Alga and Dr. Keys. And then my next and final big adventure at Queensboro was when Dr. Sheena Gillespie hired me. She was the chair of the English department. And I guess that's where I spent the bulk of my um, 20 years here. Um, she was, I had great opportunity to work with her and uh, the English department is a very sweet and caring department. They've been very good to me, and it's truly a life-changing experience working there. I uh, would like to share a little note about David Humphreys. He's the chair of the English department now. When he became chair, um, I went in and I congratulated him, and I wished him well, and I wanted him to know that, to the best of my ability, um, I'll be glad to work for him. And he corrected me on that, and he said, you don't work for me, you work with me. So thank you, David. 
because we do all work together. Uh, anybody that I've worked with on campus, um, I guess you could say um, I need to and I would like to work as a team like the Mets. <laughs> so how are we going to get our work done if we don't work as a team? And that's important to me and everybody else. But um, lastly, I'd like to thank the students for coming to Queensboro, because without them, we probably wouldn't be here to share our stories. Thank you. <laughs> Our next 20-year honoree has served us in, in several departments, most recently in the Department of Personnel. Cheryl Levine has, is known to many of you, and, and she is, has great, great uh, meaning to the folks who come through that office to make sure that their paperwork is all in order. She is a, a wonderful person and charming and very welcoming. That's a great, great attribute of our HR group. So congratulations, Cheryl Levine. It's not easy to recap 24 years in one minute, but here goes. <laughs> I started out in academic literacy, where I worked for 10 years. So it's important for me to recognize this office, where I met so many amazing people and formed everlasting friendships. I have spent the past 14 years in personnel, where every day is a new adventure and finding myself learning something new all the time. In this office, I work with six incredible and awesome women. I would be remiss not to mention Ellen Adams, who has been my one constant in the personnel office. She is a fair and objective boss and has always been supportive of me. I appreciate her not only as a boss, but for her loyalty and friendship through the years. Lastly, I want to thank you to the love of my life, my husband, Marty. <laughs> Together for the past 40 years, we have raised three accomplished and amazing children. We have two grandchildren with more to come. We are truly blessed with a wonderful life together. Concluding 20 years of service is a big accomplishment. I am both proud and honored to be a part of it. Thank you. So more than 20 years ago, I met our next honoree because she was part of a team that was anchoring our admissions office. And if you want to learn anything about Queensboro, you will answer the phone in the admissions office for an hour, and you'll probably know a great deal about this institution. Joanne Rollo has been a constant in the lives of many people here. She has certainly led our DC 37 staff. She has certainly um, led, co-led Joe, the social sciences department, which is an enormous department and a wonderful one. But Joanne has also been, a, of course, a personal acquaintance over many, many, many years. And I have to say thank you because she taught me all those years ago when she worked uh, in the admissions office as an hourly. And now she's concluding more than 20 years as a full-time member of our staff. Joanne Rollo, congratulations. <laughs> this all down. Uh, thank you, President Call, and congratulations to everybody celebrating their milestones tonight. Like many secretaries here, I became as a 
I started here as a part-timer, just wanting to get back into the workforce after being a stay-at-home mom. Uh, and as Do President Call told you, I was interviewed by her and then Dr. Steve Belzer for the admissions office. Back then, I was taller, thinner, and a heck of a lot younger. <laughs> I, would ha I had no idea that I'd be working full time at some point or that I'd be here 20 plus years. I guess we've all come a long way. I've worked with many talented people on campus and have made some serious friendships over the years. You know who you are, especially Sarah and Annette. We've watched our children grow and live their lives. There have been many laughs and many tears along the way. These friendships, as well as many other acquaintances here on campus, helped me through a very difficult time in my life. You've all made me a survivor, 17 years to be exact, and for that I'll be forever grateful. For the past 10 years, I've been working in the Department of Social Sciences under the leadership and guidance of Dr. Joseph Culkin. <laughs> Need I say, there's never a dull moment working there. It's a very large, diverse group of people, but I really do enjoy what I do. I do enjoy who I work with. I can only hope that I've made some contribution to the college as well. I won't say here's to the next 20 years because by then I'm gonna be really old. <laughs> But for as long as I'm here, I want to say thank you. It's been an honor and a pleasure, most of the time anyway. And to work with the students and all of you as well. Thank you. Our chemistry department uh, has a wonderful faculty, stellar faculty, and we're very pleased to honor someone who's been here, again, 20 years, Dr. Irina Rutenberg. It's okay. That's quite all right. You're good. Thank you. I actually started 22 years ago in Queensborough in 1993 in fall as being a graduate student in City University and doing research on the basis of Queens College and I came here to work as a part-time lab technician and instructor in the chemistry department. When I went through the process of applying and being hired, I met so many wonderful people in all the departments and when I started working, I met more people. And when I was in Queens College, I told them, Queensborough, it is where I want to be. And 20 years since then, I'm still saying, Queensborough, it is where I want to be. Thank you. In our biological sciences and geology department, uh, there, there's a very strong reputation for excellence. There's a very strong reputation that's made us a national model for undergraduate research. And one of the leaders on this campus of undergraduate research for our students is Dr. Patricia Schneider, who is a role model to all of us, no matter what our majors, no matter what our goals. Pat. Thank you very much. I, uh, many people know that I spent 15 years as an adjunct at LaGuardia, and I always felt I was held back a little, that I could do more. And when I came here, I have to say, what really helped me accomplish all the things I've accomplished is two key things. The support of the, my colleagues, particularly the interdepartmental support is amazing. And, the, and also the support of the administration. If I had an idea, people would team up and we would be able to move that forward. And the other thing is the 
support in terms of um, faculty development. I can't tell you when I got here how many trips I took to various workshops, not only to learn scientific techniques, but pedagogical information. And at one point, several years into that, I actually asked if I could, uh, Diane, if I could take a team of faculty to a PKL meeting where we would meet with specialists to design initiatives for the science department, and they immediately say yes. So the school has a tremendous reputation for support, supporting students, providing student opportunities, but from my standpoint, they do equally well for the faculty. Thank you. You may have heard that we have an amazing nursing department. It's true. Uh, they consistently produce graduates who outscore on the state exam, the RN exam, and the other institution in CUNY, and I am never tired of saying that to everybody, so forgive me for repeating it. One of the reasons, of course, is the faculty, such as Carol Soto. Carol has been an amazing member of the department, contributing in all kinds of ways of education, which occurs in the nursing department, in the classroom, outside the classroom, and in the profession. Carol, congratulations. Thank you, President Call. Abraham Lincoln once said, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. As I mark my 20th year at Queensborough, I've had the privilege of working in a top-tiered nursing program within the CUNY system. I would like to thank Queensborough for giving me the opportunity to serve this body of students. I reflect upon those individuals who supported me and mentoring me during my tenure here. Amy Ching, Dr. Elaine Muller, Alex Tarasco, Sue Meehan, to name a few, and many other nursing faculty in the department. I would also like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has kept me and sustained me throughout my service here at Queensboro. Students come to our campus with hopes, dreams, and expectations. As faculty, I feel we have a great responsibility in preparing future generations of students who will become productive citizens and contribute to make this a better society for all. Hopefully, I have enriched the lives of the students I have taught and inspired them to care and to heal those individuals who have been entrusted in their care. Thank you. The Queensborough could not do what it does without every member of our, our family, and that includes faculty who are here as adjuncts. And some of them have been with us as part of our family for many, many years, so we'd like to celebrate the adjuncts who have served so incredibly well over the last 20 years. From the Department of, reading this right? Is it computer science or is it math? That mathematics. They have two departments. I know adjuncts are really good, but two departments, wow, math. From the Department of Mathematics, which by the way, somehow manages to make sure that their adjuncts become part of a very large department. They still have over 100 adjuncts. But Melvin Bernstein, thank you for all your work over these many years. I can't believe it's 20 years. 20 years ago, I had just finished, I just retired from Forest Hills High School after teaching there for 30 years. <laughs> so I'm here 20 years, and it's been 20 wonderful years, and I look forward to the next 20. I have a wonderful uh, colleagues working with me, and I couldn't enjoy myself more. Thank you.
the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Dance is a, a pretty tight group. And one of the reasons is the work that they do with their adjuncts, who really are side by side with faculty there. So I'd like to honor and have you welcome Vincent Hansich. Glad to hear my uh, fellow colleague from uh, Forest Hill say he worked for 33, 30 years. This is my 52nd year of teaching, both at Jamaica High School and um, Stuyvesant. And I don't know what you were applauding my age for, but uh, <laughs> uh, my only regret after teaching so many years of uh, physical education is that I didn't start here sooner. Uh, this uh, 20 years has been a, a revelation. Uh, I don't know if many of you have taught in high schools, but when you go into a classroom, the first thing you have to think about is discipline. It seems like all your energy goes into controlling that class. Whereas here I walk into Queensboro and it's a marvelation. They're ready to work. It's, uh, it, it inspires me just to you know, do the best I can for those kids. And 20 years has gone by, and it's just uh, actually, but don't tell anybody, I would do this for nothing. <laughs> you didn't hear that, did you, Kim? <laughs> because uh, you didn't hear that, did you? Oh. Because it's, it's given me, you know, when you're retired, you, you have time in your hands. And this, the, the two days that I work here has actually been wonderful. And I, I thank you, and I thank Dr. Kim especially, and all the other chairmen that were uh, uh, f good enough to hire me for uh, teaching. So thank you very much, and I hope I have another 20 years. The Department of Engineering Technology is so special it has its own building, which is kind of nice. And they're also special because they have wonderful faculty, including Fred Hines. Congratulations, Professor Hines. I just wanted to thank everyone, um, especially Stu Asser and Jerry in the uh, ECET, Engineering Technology Department. Um, I can't believe how fast the time has gone by. And uh, you know they're saying it's a small world after all. Um, you know, I actually did go to Forest Hills High School and I didn't realize that Mr. Bernstein is being uh, honored as well. I did not even know he's in the math department. I think I might have had him as, uh, as a teacher back in those days. So. Maybe I can say hello in a few minutes. I hope I did well in your class. But it actually did help considering I went into electronics and engineering, so it was a good, uh, good help to me. So thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the evening. Our next honoree, is, she's almost in a special category because she's being honored for 20 years of service as an adjunct. She's also served uh, as a full-time member of our faculty on several of occasions. And so we're very happy to have her kind of in both categories, Arlene Kemmerer from the Department of Academic Literacy. I think I've done it all here. Um, I'm really so grateful that I have been given the opportunity to work and to teach at Queensborough uh, since 1991. It's really 24 years for me here. 
Uh, I really would like to thank Regina Rochford and Joe Pantaleo for their constant support throughout the years. I, okay. I, I appreciate the recognition tonight and look forward to many more happy years at QCC. Thank you. The Department of Mathematics and Computer Science has many stars, among them Peter Missieri. Peter? Okay. Here he is. How I came to be an employee, CLT in the computer lab of a library, now AACC. It began when I first met two former employees of QCC in the IT department, the former director of the, in the 90s, Joe Gonzalez, and a computer specialist named Emil Paranello. When they both came to New York City Housing Authority, where I work and still work. Long story short, Emil and, and, and Joe lasted as long as Mayor Dinkins did, and they moved on to another agency after Mayor, Mayor Giuliani took office. I lost contact with Emil for several months, and then one day we met on the subway, headed north from Park Place downtown to Penn Station to catch a train to Long Island. He asked me if I were uh, still driving, limo, which I did part-time to pay bills and support my family. He mentioned that he wanted to give up one or two days of his night work as a CLT in the library computer lab, and asked if I were interested. He said it was easier work than driving, less money, uh, less hours and more money. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> and with my computer background, I could manage to do the work at night. I said, sure, how, how do I go about it? Well, Charlie Prancel was the person to contact, and he would put uh, in a good word. That was 20 and, a half years, 20 and a half years ago. I met and interviewed with Charlie gave him my resume, re resume and, he, and he okayed my application, which started my night career at QCC. I would just like to say that I worked with Nestor Abaleda, a fun-loving, happy-go-lucky, but sometimes crazy guy, <laughs> who taught me what I had to do and what had to be done. And has, he has, be has become a good friend over these last two decades. As we all know, or should know, an educational institution is made up of facilities and people, students, faculty, administrators, and staff. I just want to say that my time and experiences at QCC have been extremely rewarding and enjoyable. My coworkers in the ACC, Mary, Bruce, Nestor, Charlie, Scott, Ka, Mark One, Mark Two, I don't know their last <laughs> names, uh, Ali, Aradna, and my friends in the IT staff and others, I may have missed mentioning are always upbeat and cooperative, and always ready to assist. And I am thankful for, the, for that. QCC is a very special place for many who have worked and studied here. Again, Emil, thanks for this life-changing suggestion, and thank you, QCC, for this award and recognition. Joseph Vallone has been with the mathematics department for at least 20 years, and I see him periodically on the campus, and I'm so happy to see him here tonight. Congratulations. It's been 20 years, and I've made many good friends, and it's uh, really been an enjoyable experience. I hope I've made a contribution to our students, and I've, I've given it my best effort. Again, it's a pleasure being here, and I hope we'll be here a few more years. And it's nice meeting all of you.
A number of years ago, 30 to be exact, we had the good sense to uh, hire a number of people and we're celebrating with them 30 years, 30 years of, of service. And that's with a capital S in the case of these folks because I don't think there's a, an aspect of our life at Queensborough that each of these individuals hasn't touched. And so I, I am so pleased to introduce them to you, our colleagues who have been here at Queensborough at least 30 years, and actually for this first gentleman, a little bit more because he's a graduate. The head of the engineering technology is Stu Asser. Uh, he is uh, in many ways a leader beyond his department. We are enormously grateful, whether you're a student or a faculty member or a staff member on this campus, I think we each owe Stu Asser a thank you. Thank you very much. Queensborough has been a big part of my life uh, since I began, I guess, in 1964 as a student. And I have so many memories, uh, wonderful memories of, of this place. Uh, but one sticks out, it always will stick out for me, and, and that is taking classes in buses. Uh, when I started, we didn't have buildings. <laughs> so, so, um, I'll always remember that, and we've come a long way since then. Uh, I really feel fortunate to have had the opportunity to work with all of you. Uh, I'm especially thankful to the Engineering Technology Department for allowing me to lead them for the past 13 years. And I want to thank the administration uh, for all the support they give all of us and for really caring about our students and especially for hosting this event. Thank you. The English department has, has given us many, many uh, leaders of this campus as well. And many years ago, when we began to think about a uh, Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning, uh, we were finding our way, and there was someone who stepped forward to take us through that infancy. He serves the English department in many respects, obviously as a professor, but also someone who's, who's really bridged, in many ways, the English department to the generation of technology. He's a wonderful colleague, Robert Becker. Probably 30 years is a really, really long time. <laughs> Except when it's not. Uh, this has gone quick. And I'll try not to use up uh, all of my 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I'll try to do this a little bit chronologically. Um, Diane and uh, Patty have spoken about the uh, secretaries administrative assistance and uh, their importance to the campus can't be overstated. And the reality is that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't uh, for two particular secretaries, uh, probably names that most of you don't know. Uh, but Sally Baker, late of speech, communication, and theater, and Margaret Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh who's uh, still plugging along, uh, they got my resume to the right person who proceeded to hire me. And in reality, that's the way it went down. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here, no doubt. Currently, uh, the secretaries uh, in our department, they're wonderful. You got to meet Patty, uh, Patty Gorton, who was just uh, honored for 20 years of service. But Rosita and Holly and Edie, they do so many things on an everyday basis that simplify my life and help me to go about doing what I do. Uh, and I don't really think that they know what they do, they just do it. But I really appreciate all of their efforts, all of the time. <laughs> the English faculty speaks for itself as an involved and exciting department, 
but I'm going to throw a couple of names that some of you may not know and probably names that most of you do know, but uh, Sheena Gillespie and Linda Stanley. Um, I don't know why, but they embraced me when I got onto the campus and involved me with all kinds of projects, introduced me to all kinds of different things inside and outside of the English department, and really spoke to an interest that I've always had in terms of working with people on different projects across the disciplines. And in fact, this interest of mine spreads to the faculty at large, but it doesn't stop with the college faculty. It goes on to the HEOs, to the CLTs, to support staff, someone like Philip, who is always around doing what he needs to do. And I'm extremely grateful for having had the opportunity to move beyond my department to work with and interact with so many people from so many disciplines. It's not just a richer existence for me as a faculty member, but I think it enriches the campus as a whole to engage in these dialogues. Lastly, I'd like to thank my family. So my kids, Ariella, Benjamin, and Harris can't be here tonight, but I want to thank them for just growing up. <laughs> And I'm very thankful that an academic schedule has enabled me to be present in their lives more than virtually any other people doing jobs in this world. I want to thank my wife, Zena, for her support, uh, her devotion, her attention, her love, and especially for letting me use the dining room table to grade papers on for 30 years. I knew you'd get there. Uh, last, I'd like to thank people in this room, administrators, staff, faculty, family members, for coming out to support the 20, 30, 40, and 50 year club, as it were. Uh, thank you all very much. In information technology, uh, they have a responsibility, and some of them you may not recognize, and one of them is to make sure that we can move our money at the end of the year, our tuition revenue. And the person who is here, usually middle of June, is here many, many long hours to ensure those transfers take place, believe it or not. People probably don't even think about that with IT, but we do, and thank you, Frank Finelli in IT. been a blast to be here the last 30 years. Met a lot of people. Everyone does a wonderful job here. And back in the day, we went from mainframe to QBMIS to CUNY first. And if I haven't seen you yet, I'll be getting your signature soon because <laughs> that's what we need. Thank you. Bye-bye. The Department of Chemistry is, is very fortunate to have a wonderful group that, that is uh, very collaborative. And one of the members of that department is being honored tonight, and he is uh, officially a college laboratory technician. He is probably uh, an anchor to every single member of the chemistry department. Pete Irigoyen. What can I say? 30 years, awful long time. But if everybody noticed, there's been one constant thing. Everybody tells the people or what makes the department. And everybody always wonder why I stayed here 30 years. I was fresh out of the military. It would have been easy for me to pick up and move. It was something I did routinely, okay? But it was the people that were there. And a lot of these people are now gone. They're gonna be slowly missing that. 
there's a new breed of people coming in, and hopefully they keep the family together and keep everything happy, because that's exactly what we became, a family. My kids were raised in the department, so much so that it was family, they all came back. My daughter teaches here, my son is working in the English department. So uh, to show you it's a very family-oriented thing. And that's something that we always must remember, that it's the people that make this college, and that's what's the most important thing. Thank you. So of, of our 30-year group this evening, there's someone who's been here, and actually she was an adjunct even before she was full-time, but uh, Alex Tarasco is really the definition of many words. She's the definition of a leader. She's the definition of a uniter. She's the definition of sanity. Um, <laughs> and, and I have to say that over many, many years and in many, many roles, she has been and still remains the conscience of this institution. Alex Tarasco. That. <laughs> I don't need to say anything after that. That's, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, as I look around the room, I see a lot of faculty and staff that I've worked with for 30 years. I see people I've worked with for 20 years. I see people I've worked with for 10 years. And I see new faculty more and more that are coming into our campus, and I think that's wonderful. It really adds a lot of vibrancy to our campus. Over the last 30 years, I have worked uh, under four presidents, President Schmeller, President Lapidus, President Marti, and of course now President Call. And it's been uh, an exciting time and a challenge, and I've worked under three Department chairs, Pat Irons, Maureen Wallace, Anne Marie Menendez, two of them are sitting right there and I have to uh, say that they are my rock. They've really been there, been supportive uh, as, a, as friends and as colleagues and they've uh, been really visionaries in terms of our department. Over the last uh, 30 years, I kind of view my tenure here as BC and AD. BC is before community dialogue, <laughs> <laughs> and AD is after the deployment of pathways. <laughs> it's been a rocky, rocky road, uh, a great challenge, but I think that what really kept us saying was not just that I'm a psychiatric nurse and I get a little crazy sometimes, um, but I think it's really the camaraderie that um, comes across as you work with people in other departments and there's a real sense um, of people wanting to help the students and that's really what our goal is and, and being faculty and everyone else who works here. Um, the next decade uh, I'm looking forward to, teaching nursing students is never boring. And I just want to assure you, if any of you ever have a Queensborough nurse, nurse taking care of you, you are in good hands, you're safe. We don't have anyone graduate from our nursing program unless they're really, really wonderful. And the reason that they're so good is because of our department. Of course, I'm biased, but it's true. It's a really hardworking, uh, very uh, dynamic department. And we're, uh, we, as colleagues, we may disagree, but we get our work done and we move forward. Um, and also, I think uh, I'm working with academic advisors, and they're a great team helping students come into the campus, and, uh, be, and they're very supportive of students coming in. 
And I think, you know, the next few years I'll be doing a lot of mentoring of new faculty. Uh, they keep me on my toes, they ask a lot of questions, and they challenge, and, and I think that's wonderful. And I want to be that mentor in the same way that I had mentors when I first started here. I had great mentors who really helped me along the way. And uh, so thank you for being here. Thank you, President Call, for this wonderful occasion. And um, I think we can eat now, almost. Can we? Oh. <laughs> more honorary this evening, and he began 40 years ago, but actually before then as well, because Queensborough gives all of us opportunities to try different things, and George Machida took us up on that. So 40 years ago, and before that he was a student, but he joined us here on our staff. He has served in many different capacities. And we're very pleased that he has brought uh, interesting ideas to each and every one of them. So I want to congratulate George Machida. I also want to say a special welcome to his mom. Welcome for being here. And to Dr. Todd Craig, also a member of the family, who has been here as an adjunct, but now has a full-time faculty position at Megra Evers. But George, congratulations on 40 years. Come on up. I got it. You got it? Yep. Two score, <laughs> five weeks. <laughs> Three days ago, I started here at Queensborough. I was interviewed, I was sent for an interview at Queens College. They had fulfilled all of their positions, so I was sent here to Queensborough. Eileen Mamone and Sylvia Klein, very few people in this room may remember them, but they are the two who interviewed me and hired me. Now, I've known this young lady when she was Diane Call. <laughs> Count. Counselor Call, Dean Call, Vice President Call, and now President Call. We go away again. And it's a friendship that I will treasure for the rest of my days on this earth and at Queensborough. People have asked me, how can you be here for 40 years? <laughs> well, for the first 30, it was very easy. <laughs> The last 10 have been trying, trust me. But I do want to say one thing. It's been a pleasure. And as was said, I've been in several offices. Since I am not a dean yet, next time you go on vacation, I am more than willing to step in and take your place. But I do want to say thank you, everyone. It's been a pleasure working with you. And for the next few years, it will be a pleasure working with you still. God bless. So this celebration, as you can imagine and experience, is special. Dr. Dinah Moshe, who could not be with us tonight, she had a previous engagement. I couldn't, couldn't find another way for her to fulfill that one and be here. But she's celebrating 50 years, and we will have her present given to her specially. Maybe Millie will take it over in the buggy with, with Stu, something like that. <laughs> but thank you, each and every one of you, for being here, because I think this represents our spirit and our accomplishments and our future. So enjoy a wonderful evening. We have a lovely dinner. We have phenomenal company. And have an enjoyable night. <laughs>